to Southern Ways with Felicia. Before I get started, I would like to introduce you to our new puppy, Gatsby. We adopted Gatsby last month and he has been a wonderful addition to our family. He loves playing outdoors. Uh, he's quite a little mischievous pup, but we are enjoying getting to know his traits and his ways and spoiling him. So this is, this is our Mr. Gatsby, our Gat Gat. <laughs> All right, Gatsby, you want to get down for just a moment? Okay. <laughs> All right. So I'm super excited to share with you in this video about one of my favorite actresses and her name is Diane Carroll. Diane Carroll was born July 17, 1935, and she passed unfortunately last year on October 4th, 2019. Um, back in March, I was scrolling through my social media feed and saw where they were going to have an estate auction for some of Diane Carroll's things. And so I immediately knew that I wanted to participate. I had never done anything like this before. I actually discovered this information while I was at work, so I could not get anything done the rest of the day because all I could do was think about what they were going to be auctioning. Um, if I would be able to even have an opportunity to get something that belonged to Diane Carroll, it was just so many thoughts running through my head and I was just super, super ecstatic. I mean, it was to the point to where I um, shared with my dad and my brother who I work with, I was like, I'll just be glad if I got a pen or a pencil that belonged to her. That's how excited I was. So this is actually the catalog um, the auction was held through Bonhams and uh, Bonhams in Los Angeles, California, and it's just not a beautiful, gorgeous photograph of Mrs. Carroll. And before I show you some of the the items that I did win in the auction, I'd like to share with you some information about Miss Miss Carroll and some beautiful photographs to, that are in this catalog. So in the beginning of the catalog, here's, here's another beautiful picture of Miss Carol. Um, Tanya Dukes, who is a writer, editor, and stylist, she actually interviewed Suzanne Kay, who is Diane Carroll's daughter. And some of the things that um, Miss Kay shared about her mom was that there's a piece of advice that Diane Carroll lived by and dispensed regularly. If you're not invited to the party, throw your own. It's that kind of attitude, pragmatic, unsentimental, irrepressible, that sustained her through a seven decade career in show business. Seven decades. Can you imagine what she experienced? Um, what she saw, what she learned. I mean, that is a major career. She actually grew up in, she was born in Bronx, New York in 1935. In her, during her childhood while living in Uptown Manhattan, she was a self-described Harlem princess. And she actually took voice lessons at the Metropolitan Opera. Um, one of the things that I really, um, that really, that I love about Diane Carroll was when I, I first discovered her when on television. Uh, if you remember, uh, she starred as Julia, a nurse in a TV series, and that was a huge accomplishment because this was pretty much one of the first times that an African American woman was the the front person on the show, she was the who the, the character that the show centered around. And it also showed her in a profession versus being a domestic or or doing something else. It showed that she had some that she had an education and that she um, was working as a professional. And I remember as a little girl watching this show and just being in awe because I, I just thought that she was so beautiful and just seeing how she interacted with her son on the show and all of the other people that was on there. Um, 
I also enjoyed watching her on A Different World, which is one of my favorite shows. Um, and she was Whitley Gilbert's mother on there. And anytime I, the, the main episode that I think of is when Whitley was getting married and how excited she was that her daughter was marrying this senator. And just the way she dressed and the way she carried herself. Also, when she was on Dynasty, you know, just the amazing outfits and the quick comebacks that she would have. She just, she was definitely a diva on Dynasty. And I think we all can remember her in her um, beautiful ensembles, especially the white, white outfit that she wore on the show. So here's another something that I wanted to share with you. Um, so this is a beautiful um, cover of Diane Carroll when she played in Claudine. She was nominated for Best Performance act by an actress. And I just love that picture of her. And then this picture of her, she, she was just such an elegant woman and just exuded confidence. I mean, the photography in this catalog is just amazing. And then I've shown you this one before, which this is her as Julia. And I even, uh, look at that show now, every now and then it, it comes on television. Um, if we're lucky to find it, my daughters and I would love to look at it together. And their favorite episode of Julia is actually the Christmas episode. <laughs> uh, we tried it, we had that on DVR. So now I would like to get into sharing with you um, some of the items that I was able to acquire. So I am going to start out with my handbags. I love handbags. Um, you can never have enough handbags in my opinion. And when I saw that some of her handbags was being um, auctioned, I definitely wanted to see if I could get a couple of those. And I was fortunate to get these two handbags here. Um, both of these handbags are by uh, Judith Lieber. Uh, Judith Lieber had her own company that she founded in 1963. Her company is still around today. Um, Ms. Lieber was born in 1921 and she actually passed in 2018. Um, a lot of celebrities carry her bags. Uh, there's, like I said, they're still available today. Um, Ms. Lieber actually gifted many um, first ladies, uh, presidential first ladies with her bags and in in 2005, in Springs, New York, they, she, she and her family actually opened the Lieber Museum where they house a collection of, you know, a lot of her handbags. So this one is my favorite. Um, the reason why I actually um, um, bidded on this lot, um, I bidded on uh, three lots and the three lots that I bidded on, I was successful in winning those lots. And this bag is, is white. Um, I, kind of looks art deco to me. Uh, I love the way the front looks. I like that it has a little pocket in the back. And I believe this was one of Miss Carol's favorite bags because on the inside, um, you can tell that it has a lot of use, had a lot of use. And, and also in one of the pockets, it has her mirror that she would carry with her, which I think that is cool. And I will definitely get a lot of use out of this. Um, this is actually probably, I would say, a evening bag that you would carry. And so I am looking forward to carrying this beautiful bag. And I love the stones that are on the front. This looks like jade, this looks like amethyst. Not sure what this is, but it is just a beautiful, dainty bag. My second Judith Lieber bag is is this one um it it is much bigger I think you could maybe carry this at, in the daytime as well as in the evening if you wanted to carry it like this if you carry it in the daytime then it has the strap that you could 
that you can use and and then there's the Judith Lieber emblem. And what I really like about this bag is actually gray and black, but it has these cute little um, jewels on the corners. Just a little bit of bling bling. A beautiful bag and I am looking forward to carrying it. And I actually like it because it is long enough for me to either carry it as a crossover or I could just, you know, if I want to carry it in a more, um, you know, formal setting, then I am able to just, you know, carry it like this. So this is such a beautiful bag. The second lot that I bid on was a couple of her necklaces. Um, and this necklace to me is, is kind of, I guess I'll show you. It's, it's Art Deco looking, kind of like the handbag. And it is so beautiful. And I'm looking forward to wearing this. I purchased pieces that I can dress up and dress down. So this is a necklace is, I mean, Yes, you can wear it when you're dressed up, but I also think you could easily wear it with like a crisp white shirt like what I have on and some jeans. So it is very cool to the skin. Love the way it feels around my neck. And I just, I just think it's beautiful and I am excited and to have this piece and look forward to wearing it on different occasions. The second necklace is similar. I bought, this lot was, I think it was called the, the gold and silver lot maybe. Um, so, which is great because that means that I can wear it anytime because it's silver and it's, you know, I can wear it with silver or gray. I want to be careful here because I do not want to break anything. Um, I have not tried this necklace on. The one that I showed you previously, I have worn it, but I haven't tried this one on, so this is my first time. And again, feels very cool to the touch. And I love that it has pearls because I am definitely a pearls girl. So I really love that this one has pearls, but it's just very beautiful. Sorry, I keep looking away. My dog, he's so cute. He's sleeping. He, he's laying on the floor. He's being such a good pup pup. So I'm sorry if I keep, keep looking away. I keep checking on him. He's the baby of the family. You have to make sure that the baby is taken care of. And then my last piece, um, it's obvious to me that Miss Carol really liked this piece and she wore it a lot. Um, the tags on it are actually, it has the lot number on it. So that's why the tag is still on it. But this is really cute. And again, this is a piece that can be dressed up or dressed down. And let me see if I can get this on. I have tried this on before and I had a hard time getting it off because I didn't know what I was doing. So hopefully I will not have that issue while I am videoing. So I don't know if it's showing the stones or not. Uh, I can't tell. I do not have a mirror in front of me. But this one is just like, a cool, simple, if I can get it off, necklace that, like I said, that you can dress up or dress down. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but it's very beautiful. And I think it is safe to say that she really loved this piece because I can tell that it is worn. The third lot that I purchased was um, watches. So I have like a just everyday day watch that I can wear. This one is actually, this one is actually just a, um, a heel figure watch, just a day watch. And I really love, um, I really love the numbers on it. It's a beautiful watch. I don't know if you can see that. I think it'll, I'm left hand, so I tend to wear my watches on my left hand, so I'll just do it like that. this. But this is the watch. I love the leather. I love the color of the leather. Um, I don't own a watch that has this color leather, so 
I will definitely get a lot of wear out of it. And then this watch, this is a Swiss legend. It is white. Um, it has like an iridescent look to it. And it is very heavy. And I am actually going to need to take some links out of it. But I'll see if I can do it like that. It's a beautiful watch. Looking forward to wearing this. I do not have a uh, white watch, so this actually goes with what I have on today. Um, so I will definitely get a lot of wear out of this beautiful watch. And my last watch came in a box that says Diane Carroll. And I did not know this, but Diane Carroll had her own jewelry line. And this is a watch from her line that she owned herself. And this was actually on the inside of it, which is the lifetime limited guarantee, the beautiful picture of Miss Carol. And on the back it says, my exclusive watch collection is designed to accentuate the beauty in every woman. I invite you to share my love of fashion and the allure of graceful, timeless styling. From day into evening, you'll feel great. You'll look fabulous, Diane Carroll. And so, and this watch is so beautiful, it's heavy, and I've already tried it on one time before, but it is very cool to the touch, and It's a beautiful watch, beautiful watch. It has Roman numerals on it and it actually has her name on it, Diane Carroll. And I, again, with this one, I will need to take some links out because my wrist is very small, but I am looking forward to getting somewhere out of this beautiful watch as well. And again, this is, this is the watch. So this is my collection of items that I acquired from the estate of Diane Carroll. I am looking forward to wearing all of these beautiful pieces and I will think of her. I try to carry myself in an in the, an elegant and dignified way as she did. And I look forward to sharing um, this story with, um, with individuals who ask about my jewelry because we, just face it, when we wear jewelry and we see somebody's jewelry and we like it, we like to compliment them. And sometimes there's always a backstory to that piece of jewelry. It could be a family heirloom. It could be a piece of jewelry that you acquired while you were on vacation. And I think knowing the history behind the jewelry sometimes makes it even um, better than just wearing the piece itself, just knowing the story, the backstory behind it. So I am looking forward to sharing the backstory of these beautiful items. And I am just so excited that, and so grateful that I found out because I would have missed out on uh, a great opportunity. And in closing, I, I would like to say that sometimes um, it's not easy stepping out of your comfort zone. Um, I never imagined that I would be able to participate in this auction and, and be able to acquire you know, several things, but you don't know until you try. So this was something new that I tried and I actually just received um, my items this week because when um, thing, when uh, everything shut down because of the COVID-19, they were not able to ship me my items, so I'm just getting them. And, uh, you know, life is short. So I tell you, seize the day, get out of your comfort, your comfort zone, try something new, because um, I have to say this was a win-win for me. And I'm so glad that I was able to participate and I'd like to show you one more picture of Miss Carol. 
And in closing, I want you to remember her favorite saying, if you're not invited to the party, throw your own. I hope you have a good day. If you like this video, I hope you like it. Subscribe, comment. I'd love to hear your comments. If you've ever participated in an auction, please tell me what did you purchase and what was, what was it like for you? Um, and I look forward to checking out what you have to say in the comments. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.